the one who wants to please and wish to come. Our Lord, our strength, our Savior, our Redeemer, our everything. Father, this hour, we will come and glorify you. Take for the glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come and waste your hands. We are in your presence. We pray, O Lord, come down and feel the same thing. Touch every night. Open the heart of our understanding and teach us for yourself. And let your word transform lives. Lord, we take authority over strangers, over strange powers, over authority of the people of hell. We are ready to ask whatever the attention to be. At the mention of your name, let their own be scattered in the name of Jesus. Every anxiety of the enemy sedate anyone's life. Every altar erected to terminate anyone's job. Or any associations of the enemies against anyone's progress. They are destroyed now by the fire in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah, the Lord that answered by fire. That God will go before you and your family. And he will answer you this week in the name of Jesus. We come up with to the blood of Jesus. We cover every life in this city with the blood of Jesus. And we will find the very Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Father, I now I pray for you. Forgive me. Have mercy. Forge me. And give me a touch to the Lord. Use me to speak your word. And let your word say so. Let the word transform us. Let your word bring barriers. And above all, let your word lead us to eternity. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Jesus. And I want to pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I will not have the service. I pray to God is your God to pray for Africans and our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the path of every successful of God. The church will be told by God to teach the way of Christ, to empower us to break our lives and to raise your minds. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every time you walk into this sanctuary, your name will change. Amen. Your soul will change. Amen. To the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord has given us the grace to look into what is happening to you. Understanding the authority and power in the world of God. Understanding the authority and power in the world of God. If there is a time in the history of man when man ought to go back to know the word of God, the time is now. In this present day dispensation, we are familiar or we are familiar ourselves with the words of men, words of our friends, words of our colleagues, the obvious words, the kind of power, the kind of strength. The kingdom of authority. All these words, their authorities are limited to the source of the heavens. But there is one authority, and there is one authority that is bigger, mightier, and stronger than the authorities anyway. And that authority is the word of God. It's what the word of God. Hebrews chapter 12, chapter 4, verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. I'm begging you in the name of God. If there is something you need to do for yourself, it's the word of God. If there is something you need to be learning, it's the word of God. When you know the word of God, you can never be deceived. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 2. Are we ready? You can have a shout hallelujah. The Bible says this, for the word of God is what? Is weak and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the divine asunder of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow. And is a designer of the thoughts and intent of the heart. The Bible says that I, the power of the word of God, 
The word of God is what we speak and powerful. So when the Bible says something is powerful, that thing is so powerful. Let's open our Bible again to Psalm 138, verse 2. Psalm 138, verse 2. Psalm 138, verse 2. The Bible says, I will worship towards thy holy temple. Psalm 138, verse 2. Psalm 138, verse 2. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy war above all thy name. Thou hast magnified thy war above all thy name. God has made that we cannot finish name. And the Bible says now that God says, He has magnified His word above all His name. So you might know all the names of God. Oh, he's Jehovah Jireh, he's the master of the spirit of peace. For the Lord is telling you that there is something that is above his name, which is his word. So whenever you want God to do something for you, whenever you want God to rise from heaven and what's given for us, we must learn his word. Praise the Lord. We are talking about the word of God. We need to understand the authority of the word of God. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 59, Forever, O Lord, thy word is what he is saying. It is only the word of God that he says, Man can change. Your pastor can change. Your friends can disappoint you. Your husband can tell you, but the Bible says, forever, oh Lord, thy word is saved. So whatever God says, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus. Don't look at me, the name is that so look at you. Whatever God says, stand by him, he will never fail. Amen. He has never failed and he will never fail. You are. When you do the work, you carry it. 
When you go to the world, you can come dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. If you are still afraid as a child of God, go and check the remembrance of your life. If you are still afraid as a, as a child of God, go and check it. Something is missing. There is a breakage in the link between the world of God and yourself. May God help us to do this. Jeremiah is free. That's what it's like. Jeremiah is free. That's what it's like. The Bible says this. I will read it. Jeremiah is free. That's what it's like. Is not my war like a sword in fire? Says who? The Lord. And like an armor that breaks the rock in pieces. So, what are the problems that you think the word of God cannot break you? What are those challenges that you think the word of God cannot overcome you? We need to understand that the word of God is full of power. The more the word of God has you, the better your life will be. What are those things that the world will be doing? The word of God, when you study the world, when we meditate on the world, and when we do according to what the world is saying, we will not fall into the pit of darkness. When we live our lives according to the word of God, we shall discern the thought of the enemy for us. When we are living our lives based upon the word of God, we will have authority over the kingdom of darkness. When we live our lives based on the word of God, we will pray and signs and wonders and miracles in my life. When we live our lives on the word of God, I was 
Et tu es là pour nous aider. Parce que comme je suis là, tu peux le faire. Mais tu ne vas pas faire de la vie. Et comme je suis là, tu peux le faire. Ok. Mais tu peux le faire. Tu peux le faire. Tu peux le faire.